you, I just noticed that you posted this on Google Plus as well. Um, so one of the things Google does is obviously they have to test lag on their OS and on devices. Yeah. Um, so th- this is pretty cool. Obviously, this isn't something you're going to put in your house or, or you're probably going to have access oh, to. You have a video on um, your article. Yeah, it comes out of a, it, it was built by a Finnish vendor, Opto Fidelity. Um, but it measures end to end latency of, of Android and Chrome OS devices. Um, it's a little robot that, that, taps on the screen and, and checks out and then gauges responsiveness of the display, which is, is extremely important, especially for software developers as they're developing de- developing apps or websites or whatnot, um, <clears throat> which got me actually, well, I got to pause this because it's really loud. Um, um, there, there's actually a, there are a couple companies out there that you can leverage the same type of technology. Um, it, to me, this is really cool, but I don't know if people are going to have space for this or even be able to afford it. Um, there is actually a company out there, um, one of them's Perfecto Mobile, that actually has the same type of thing in a cloud-hosted solution. Hmm. Um, I don't want to make this a sales pitch for their product, but their product's pretty cool, right? Um, they actually, one of their sites is in Boston. And they have a warehouse just full of physical real devices on various networks um, using various operating systems. Um, Usually they have the devices the day after they come out. They have BlackBerry, Windows, um, Android, iOS, what pretty much you're looking for it, they have it. Um, This is companies like Lego, Virgin Mobile, Verizon, Reuters. use these technologies, but it, it allows you to remote in and you can test the same type of thing. Um, it's actually a physical device plugged into a unit that, that you can actually use to test the responsiveness of, of your website or your app that you're developing. Um, they actually have the, and I'm sure this, the, the, the Google um, and the finished product do as well, where you can actually automate your test load and do regression testing. They'll, they'll do screen OCR, um, to actually look to make sure that something's coming up or that an error message didn't pop up. Um, to me, the, this ability, whether it be what Google's using or, or something like this Perfecto Mobile, um, the ability to load test, test latency, everything is, is becoming more and more important, especially as more and more um, people are trying to develop full-fledged apps and, and millions and millions of people are downloading it. Um, I mean, think about Facebook or, or any of those companies that, that are deploying their app across so many devices, so many different screen sizes, um, testing across so many different carrier networks, uh, different Wi-Fi networks. Um, to me, this is the type of technology that I think more people need to leverage, um, especially when you see if you've ever downloaded an app and just have a poor experience, um, it's technologies like this that can that can make the difference and make the app actually better over time. Nice. Uh, yes, yeah, it's su- super big. I'm, I'm sure this is something that a lot of people we talked to from uh, Alpha Lab dealing with application development would want to deal with. Mm-hmm. Certainly. So, all right. We also have.